Hey guys, it's Frizzer here, and in this video, I'll be showing you how we can fix this XAMPP error where it says Apache has shut down unexpectedly. So if you could leave a like on the video, that would mean a lot. And with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so one reason for this error is that the Apache ports which it normally uses are already in use by another program, and so XAMPP can't connect to them, and then it automatically fails because they're already being used by another process. So th the first method to fix this is to open up the task manager and then check if you have two instances of XAMPP running. So what you want to do is scroll down to the bottom and as you can see here, I have two XAMPP uh, instances running. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to end one of them. And so now I only have one running and then that should free up the port and allow Apache to run on the specific ports which it needs to. Okay, so if you are still getting an error, what you want to do is open up the XAMPP control panel and then next to the Apache module, you just want to click the config button and then select the first option to edit the httpd.conf file. So we're going to open this up and then where it says uh, 80, we're just going to find where that is. Uh, that this one doesn't matter because this one is commented out because of the hashtag in front of it So we're just going to find the next instance and we're just going to change this 80 So it says 8080 and this is changing the port number so that the port used isn't one which is already in use So we're just going to find the next instance and change this to 8080 instead And now if we select cancel and then we save the file by doing control s or going up to file and save and then we're just going to exit this and now if we click start the Apache web server runs perfectly and as you can see it is now on port 8080 so if we go and go into Chrome and then go to the localhost uh, you, you shall see that it doesn't work originally it says this site cannot be reached what we want to do is specify the port number now automatically Chrome goes to port 80 which is why it normally loads uh, on default to uh, the XAMPP page. What you want to do is do a colon and then type in 8080 and this will take us to the Apache web server. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like. Thanks for watching and bye bye.